All right, everything has uh, dried, and we're going to go ahead and take off our uh, PBO drawing gum. This is a rubber cement pickup. Uh, you can just uh, use your finger. Just know that your warm finger can sometimes pick up the paint around and smear it into those white spaces. So I usually use a um, rubber cement pickup, and it doesn't get, you know, all over. And now our little water droplets reappear the blue PBO drawing gum and then all of this just goes away you can always run your finger over it if you feel anything that feels like rubber then you know it's not uh, all gone right and then this just cleans up and we have um, our water droplets and now we're going to make them look like they're uh, coming up and also have a shadow up underneath. So we're going to study our subject a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to make the uh, dark shadow up underneath each one of the little water droplets. A lot of the smaller ones, it goes most of the way around. But you'll notice that there's some little white um, places where it's like the black starts and then picks up and stops. Uh, in some of the areas. That just means that's an extra light uh, coming in. So we're going to uh, do those. We're going to make up our uh, black, but we're going to water it down just a tad, and we're going to add a little bit of our uh, background blue into it. So when making our black, we use indigo, alizarin crimson, and a little bit of our sepia. So we want this like really darkish purple. Whoops, sorry. I have it zoomed in for the picture. <laughs> You're like, I don't see what she's doing. Uh, so we're creating our black. This is indigo here. This is the uh, darkest blue, the darkest brown, the darkest red. And so that's sepia and illusion crimson. And we get us a nice, uh, beautiful black. Um, equal amounts of each color. I am going to move it out here so I can um, water it down just a little bit because I don't want ultra black. Uh, you don't want it like super thick black. So I'm just going to get rid of this. I could just incorporate that color in. I don't know why I was thinking I had to completely clean it off. So we're going to get a little bit of this black over here. Um, that's pretty gray. I like that. Um, we can always add just a touch more water. And we're going to put in all of the little uh, bottom parts. And like I said, you're going to, you can come around the bottom and then skip a space. And on the bottom of each one, you're going to put these uh, shadows on, uh, on your piece. You know, some of these itty bitty ones. You can even switch to your little bit uh, smaller brush. However, whatever you feel comfortable using. This one is a two. These are our silver black velvet uh, brushes. But, um, you know, just to let you know, I love the silver black velvet and I use it all the time. This one is a two. This one is a four. This one is a ten. Um, but I have found that the, um, this is the Hobby Lobby brand. See how the bristles are all kind of um, splayed out and stuff like that, because it dried uh, in an incorrect space. And I wanted to show everybody this. I just wet this, and now I am rolling it on the towel. Let me grab my towel real quick. So I want y'all to see that I can roll this on the towel, um, the wet brush, and look at the point that it comes back to. Isn't that amazing? This is Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. This, uh, I use these big ones. This one is a 16. I use these big ones for my backgrounds all the time. And uh, I just love them. I'm, you know, anyway, just FYI, you know, art supplies are expensive. So uh, whenever you can save a little bit, then that's what we do, right?
to do this. Droplets will just eh, pretty much make you a perfect, perfect water droplet person. You would never forget how to do all of these. Unfortunately, all the black has to um, has to dry first. But I wanted you to see the blue is more intense here than it is in the uh, in the rest of it. So we're just going to uh, wet this space, put a little drop of blue, wet that space. I mean, I know it's a lot of a little detail, but that's just all we're going to have to do. I do have to let this black dry first, so I'm going to go ahead and touch up anything I want to. I missed this one. Touch up anything that you think is not, you know, either round enough or... Um, creating your shape everything is all about shapes you know some of these have multiple little uh, spots of weight so I'm just going in and adding in a few where it's broken up uh, you know the little white parts you'll notice as it dries watercolor does dry a little bit later so if you need to go back in and add some more we're going to let that dry, come back and put in our blue, and we'll be finished with our water droplets. <laughs> 